Ciao everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So, today I'm going to show you what I did with my latest digital kit. It is about Victorian girls, Victorian ladies, Victorian women and um, it turned out really, really well and I am very happy about it and here it is. I know that you can see a lot of gold shining on the cover but I made this cover off camera because I just wanted to use the kit and show what you can do with it and what I want to show you in this video is that with the images that I made and that are available in my Etsy shop, you can actually do whatever you want and uh, you are very free to create any kind of, uh, of a journal that you want. This is a page, a decor what I call a, a decorative page and an envelope. Uh, there is fabric, there is a um, brown paper bag, there are a lot of things inside of this book. So my suggestion is to go visit my Etsy shop and if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel. But now let's see how I made this book with my latest digital kit. So this project starts with one of the things that I love the most, which is image transfer. I have prepared two pictures, actually, instead of one, just in case something goes wrong along the way. And as you know, what we have to do is put three layers of Mod Podge. So let's start with the first layer and we let it dry. Okay, so the first layer has dried and we are ready to put the second layer and we let it dry again. Now the second layer has dried and we add the third and last one and we let it all dry for the last time. So what we're gonna do now is to take care of the background. I have this piece of cardboard on which I am going to, to build my background. So I'm taking just some text from a page book and I'm going to glue it down with the Mod Podge, of course. What else? And then some page from another book. This is a very, very old French dictionary. Okay. And let's take some more text from here. But I want to put it in another position. And I have also found this beautiful um, stamp, which is original, and I'm going to put it right here on the corner. Okay. And then let's add some color and let's choose among these pieces what we like the most uh, 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 uh. oh these are playing cards these would be great to be seen in the background don't ask me why but this piece of paper is calling me but before gluing it down i want to make sure that Nothing else calls me more than those playing cards. Oh well, this one calls me a lot. I'll go with this one. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I hit the telephone. So now everything is glued down properly and as you can see, I'm not looking for any texture here because I have to make an image transfer and image transfers and textures are not friends. 
So now I'm going to spread a super thin layer of gesso just to make sure that when I'll put my acrylic colors it will be very well absorbed and I'm not putting a lot also because I want the words and the images to be visible even when I'll be coloring it okay and we can let it dry so now it is still drying and before it dries completely I'm going to cut the exceeding paper okay one side is done okay it seems to be pretty dry right now so I think I think then we can start putting down our colors let's do it so now I have this color which is Amsterdam 557 I'm going to use just a teeny tiny drop of it because I don't want too much color I only want to dilute it and leave some stains and puddles here and there and if you feel that it is covering too much of the surface all you have to do is to add more water and it will start making puddles or you can use a paper towel and remove it here and there and then I want to do another thing with this uh, brown which is brown number 403 I'm so sorry for the noise in the background I know it's terrible but it is worse for me than it is for you so be patient with me please so what was I going to do oh okay so I'm going to spread some of this color on my waxed sheet okay and I'm going to use something to make circles okay that's enough noise and I want to remove some of the color from this stamp okay perfect and the last thing I want to do I have this mica spray tarnished brass and I'm trying to oh that's very shiny okay let it dry and then we will move on to the transferring of the image so everything is dry now and I hope that you can see the shine of the mica spray it's really beautiful actually and now uh, I don't know which image I want to choose because if I choose this it would be blue on blue but then this would match the brown with this kind of color so I think I'll go with the second one. Oh, too much paper stuck to the scissors okay what we want to do now is to put some more Mod Podge on the image which means the fourth layer and now we glue down our piece okay just make sure I will never stress this enough that air bubbles are not welcome so make sure that you remove every air bubble from here so press it down really 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 well and let it dry under something absolutely super heavy so see you when 
the Mod Podge will be completely dry. Okay, everything seems to be pretty dry now. And we have our glass of water and the image transfer can start. Okay, so it is super smooth, it is very velvety. I just want to show you, I hope that you can see how 3D these circles look and how you can see the castle from the, from the postage stamp and the rest of the image to me is absolutely beautiful now we wait for ill um, we wait for it to dry completely and then we will darken the edges so that the image will have more depth okay now we have to darken the edges i was thinking about using a stabilo but i want the edges to be black permanently so I am using a permanent marker all along the edges. Okay, I think I'm, uh, I am living it this way without the Stabilo. Yes, I like it. So the first part of this project is done and now let's do the rest. So now we have all of our materials ready and we are ready to make the signatures. I'm going to show you what I am going to include in this signature and I'm going to tell you one more thing. So uh, I have here my coffee dyed paper and I have already glued the lining cardboard for the first signature and the end signature. And this is my coffee dyed paper. Then I have some brown paper bag that I cut to size to fit the book. And then I have this um, strange, weird, but beautiful uh, black paper uh, that I folded in an irregular way to have one page narrower than the other one. And then I found some uh, pieces of acetate that I folded in two so that uh, they will be part of the signatures. And then I have some, a very, very old kind of napkin uh, and some uh, floral um, fabric. And about fabric, I have also found these pieces of this very shiny and silky and transparent uh, veil and also it couldn't be missing this tool that I already cut to size to fit the book and now I want to spend just one second talking about the pages from the kit because like I always do in my digital kits I give you the front pages, which is this one, and then the back pages. But remember that you are free to choose how to print the, the pages. These are the pages for the diary. And if you want, you can print the same page on the back. And, or you can choose to, to print a decorative page on the back according to what you want. So anyway, this is what I have chosen to do, but I just wanted to tell you that the files in my digital kit are separated and that you can print things as you want. So you are free to choose. And uh, now I will prepare the signature. The, uh, the signatures and then I will be ready for the book binding. Thank <laughs> you. 
So the book binding is done and it seems to me that it turned out pretty well. What do you think? I like it. So now let's hold everything in place. Make sure that everything is lined up as best as you can line it up. And now we are holding everything with the clamps and I'm using these pieces of cardboard because these clamps are so, so strong that they leave a mark on the paper okay and now it's time to put down some of our wood glue and I'm spreading it with the fingers so that it will go inside of the signatures. I'm going to push it down really well. Okay. I'm going to add some more. Okay, everything seems to be properly covered with wood glue and now I'm going to add a piece of fabric to line everything and make sure that it will never ever ever fall apart and I'm adding another layer of wood glue on the fabric too Okay. and I'll spread it and we will take care of the rest when this wood glue has completely dried. Oh, I forgot one thing. I think I'm going to do it now instead of waiting for it all to dry. I am immediately gluing down uh, this part of the fabric so that I won't have to do it later. This part is done. Let's do the other side. Looks good. Looks good. And now I let it dry. So now it's time to play with the cover. And as you can see, I used a brown paper bag and uh, I made the most of this super, super hot weather because I have played with super diluted acrylic uh, paints. I used uh, the blue, the brown, the gold, and I have also sprayed some of the mica spray that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then I found a piece of a napkin where there were uh, these birds and flowers and some leaves and I decided to use it. So this is, uh, this is what is going to be our cover and I have already cut the template for the book and the spine of the book. Now I am going to move the camera so that you can see that I am going to clamp everything down with my ruler to have the cardboard glued straight following the line of the cardboard sorry of the ruler and let's take the mod podge and let's start gluing everything down Okay, so now everything has been glued down properly and I am going to cut some of the exceeding paper. And I am also cutting the corners. Okay, I want to cut some more paper away from here. Okay, so now 
let's glue inwards the remaining parts of the cover and we have one more side and then we are done I always forget to mention that when you do this some people use the bone folder to um, to put inside the corners but I use this and I push this part inside okay and now I use the bone folder to push everything down okay now we can let it dry and then we will finish our book okay now the crucial moment has come we have our cover ready oh what a shine and we have our book ready and it does fit perfectly I would say so let's make sure that we are going to glue it down in the right position thank god I checked it out okay now it's not upside down so what I am going to do is to make it fit very well in the middle of the of the cover then I am using some DVD okay so that I'll be able to have room to glue it down okay so I'm going to protect the rest of the book with some parchment paper because I don't want the cardboard to have glue stains all over the place and now let's start playing again with Mod Podge and now we glue it all down and we let it dry for a moment so the front cover has been perfectly glued down and all we have to do now is to flip the book and do the exact same thing on the back so let's protect the book with the parchment paper and let's have some fun with the Mod Podge So the back was glued and now we let it dry under something really 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 heavy and here we have it so when I was off camera the only thing I did was dry brush some more gold and then I applied the, um, the decorations that are available in the digital kit now I just want to have a little flip through the only thing that I want to mention is that I didn't have the chance to use the um, the full stamps that are also available and I will include these in the book that I am going to list in my Etsy of course so let's start and see how this book turned out I have to say that I'm very 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 happy with the outcome and I am very satisfied also with how these images turned out and also the empty pages, the blank pages that you can fill in with whatever you want to me are really beautiful. This is the first envelope with the music notes printed inside. I haven't put anything inside of them so whoever buy this book um, can put whatever they want inside. We have a number tag, acetate the black paper tool and this super velvety and shiny uh, fabric and a sentiment freedom and smile 
And let's move on. This is some tea dyed fabric. I tea dyed it a couple of days ago. And this is the first tag to which I added this beautiful purple ribbon. I like it very, very, very much. And I also love the crackled effect that I gave to every single image. This is uh, what I call one of the decorative pages. And let's move on, some more tags. Coffee dyed paper, another empty envelope with some uh, Italian text inside that I took from a book. Acetate, black paper with a tag. I think this is very elegant to be a junk journal, a Victorian junk journal. And then we have another tag, Thrive and Dream, on this um, coffee dyed paper, this doily. And there is a particular tag, oh this is another envelope, an empty envelope, I would say, oh, this is what uh, the image transfer that I made um, at the beginning of the video. Uh, I think that you can now see how shiny it is, the mica spray, and I have glued it on some purple fabric and then I applied it to this empty page because that would have been too distracting to put it in the middle of the cover and it would have covered this blue bird and so I decided to use it as a decoration. So as you can see, you can do whatever you want with this kit. This is another, um, another tag. The other part of the doily. And there is a particular tag that I want to show you because I have put it in a particular place and the effect that it gives is, is quite funny because, oh, here are two pieces of black cardboard that I had. So this is one of the tags that says think. And then I added these two pieces of cardboard and then I applied create right here at the bottom, some more acetate. And I can't wait to show you that tag because I love the effect that it accidentally got another empty envelope. Empty envelope again. Brown paper bag, coffee dead paper, another tag with a crackled effect. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures of the entire kit. Oh, here it is. This is a tag that says off and then you lift it and it says love. You know, I find it very, very funny. You know, I'm stupid, but I like it. And I hope you like it as well. Anyway, we are getting to the end of the book. This is another empty envelope. Coffee dead paper, brown paper bag, some more fabric. Black paper again. Empty envelope with music notes and a double tag here and here. And this is the last tag. This is the fourth. And I have distressed the, the edges, as you can see. Coffee dyed paper. You can journal a lot inside of this book. This is a beautiful full page butterfly. I think there are more. There should be, they should be right here in the next pages. We'll see. Oh, here it is another one. Some more black paper. And I love that it ended up in the middle so it has, so it has a very um, bright contrast with the waxed linen thread that I used to bookbind it. Coffee stain, another beautiful image, another beautiful butterfly, another 
beautiful butterfly and this is the end of the book this is the back cover and there will be also the the full stamps included so thank you so very much for watching this video um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to visit my Etsy shop and see you very very soon thank you so very much for watching bye bye